Good morning everyone. I am Kirti Gautam, working as primary teacher at Burari Public School, a venture with Unique. In this video, I am going to share some information regarding Nagasaki Day. Nagasaki Day on 9th August, every year we remember the day on which many people who were killed instantly or later from injuries related to the atomic bomb dropped by the United States. So, why America decided to use atomic bomb? The US wanted to force a quick surrender by the Japanese to reduce the number of American lives lost. In addition, it was secretly decided at the Yalta summit in February 1945 that the Soviet Union would enter the war against Japan. Using the atomic bomb before that entry was intended to assure US supremacy in the post-war world order. The US also wanted to test the world's first atomic bomb in actual combat to ascertain its effectiveness. Its significance are the day highlights the damage to property and the lives of people. Many lives including nurses, doctors also came to an end. There was no medical aid provided during that incident which resulted in the spreading of disease like leukemia, thyroid, breast and lung cancer on a large scale. These are the effects which are still there as you can see in the pictures. Aftermath. So basically aftermaths are the effects which comes after the Nagasaki day. Like cancer became a common disease among survivors of the Nagasaki attacks. The widespread devastation led to many complications for women who were pregnant. It created impairments and disabilities for the children who took birth during that period. After some time, there was, the Nagasaki Museum was completed in April 1996, replacing the deteriorating International Cultural Hall. The museum covers the history of the event as a story, focusing on the attack and the history leading up to it. It also covers the history of nuclear weapons development. The museum displays photographs, relics and the documents related to the bombing. These are the some pictures of the museum as you can see in the presentation. So, why we should remember this day? The United States and Japan together can play a powerful role not only in remembering what happened but in analyzing why. We should do not to reopen the wounds of war but to prevent it. In this year of Asia debate over the semantics of the remorse and apology, our four more simple tasks is required of the United States and Japan, remembering and reflecting on, on the horror of 1945 and our regional and global commitment to ensure that our societies will not face it again. So that's all for the presentation. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much.